guests this evening is the creator of the critically acclaimed shows Killing Eve and Fleabag. Please welcome Phoebe Waller-Bridge. How are you doing? I'm doing fine. How are you? Good, very good, very very good. Well, thank you for thank you for being here. I mean, you don't you don't have time for anything <laughs> because you're you're doing too much. As I said, you've created two amazing shows that we know of already. But um, you're you're an actor. You're, you're a, a writer. Uh, you're a, a TV creator. Uh, you do theater. Uh, but people may not know this, and I, I did not know this, even though I knew the character, is that you oh, were God. actually oh, in. No, that's okay. Star Wars, uh, 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 Solo, a Star Wars story, you are L337, right there. <laughs> Did you...? I know. Looking my best, I think. I well, the, what, what I found out is that this, you actually, well, I thought that was total CGI creation, but that's actually... Oh, yeah. You wore one of the blue suits with a big thing on oh, your yeah. head. And... I was in it. That was me right there. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, that is, getting I into the war it. zone. A little bit. See a little bit. What was that like? Did you have a childhood connection to the Star Wars stories? Like, was this sort of like a dream um, of yours? <laughs> More of an adult dream of mine, as it came about. I didn't really... No, I hadn't actually seen the movies until... Um, you never I know seen... this is going to be really horrifying but for you, because I know you're a massive fan. No, no, but I don't understand, like, how you could avoid the movies. I know, I was how doing other you... things. <laughs> It's like busy in sand pits and stuff, you know. Really? I couldn't. I, yeah. Were you raised by the Amish? How do you avoid? <laughs> how do you just incidentally not know, know. something about Star blame Wars? Blame the parents. I'm going to go with that. I'll That's blame always the parents. good. That's yeah, always yeah. a good but idea. I did, but then it was great because when I finally did <laughs> discover the films, I was yes. going around going, guys, have you seen Star Wars? <laughs> it's like really good, <laughs> like epic story. Yeah. You uh, start off as a theater actress. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah? right, yeah. Well, I couldn't get arrested for a, for a few years trying to be a theatre actress, and then I ended up writing Fleabag, which is uh, the, the thing that kind of ended up giving me a career. So it started, it's, it's going into its second season over in the UK as a, as a television show, mm -hmm. but it started on stage? Yeah, it started on stage at the Edinburgh Festival, and it was a one-woman show. It goes on for about an hour. Mm -hmm. uh, quick hour, quick funny yeah. hour. Yeah. <laughs> and, uh, and, and, now, then... and now it's here, you've remounted the original in yeah. New York at the Soho Playhouse. There you go, right there. And I assume that's your face right there. That's me. <laughs> yeah. That was a pretty good photo shoot, actually, because that yeah. was, uh, you know, when you go on a photo shoot, I don't know if you've had this, but you're a little bit, a little tiny bit hungover. And they're like, do something, like, do a move. And you go, Ugh. and they're like, I love it. Let's have it as a poster. And that's how that photo came about. So I'm really pleased with that. That's nice. <laughs> I got to get that photographer. <laughs> Now, now you've, you've created a, a, a several hit shows here. You've gone Hollywood. <laughs> have you have you had any sort of surreal Hollywood experiences that you never thought? Because it, it's very bizarre when you go out and you see the people sort of who who you admire in the flesh. Yeah. They should be on that little screen, but you see them. What's oh, that been like oh, for you? Oh yeah, well, um, well, a really exciting one was at the uh, Golden Globes a couple of uh, couple of years ago, where I saw um, Justin Timberlake and uh, Jessica Biel at the bar, and he oh. she was wearing a lovely backless dress, and he just very privately, apart from me, uh, uh, drew his finger down her back at the bar. And it was just for the three of us that moment, I thought. It was really... uh, that, was, uh, that was very good. That's nice. <laughs> really again, nice. just a little... I was That's like, oh, nice. guys. Sure, sure, yeah. Um, but I guess other than that, no, I mainly just, you know, as everyone else says, I sort of embarrass myself in front of uh, people that I admire. Have um, you fangirled like, at, at people? Do? Yeah, well, a sort of version of that. I did a film called The Iron Lady that Meryl Streep was in. Of course, and it yeah. was uh, one of the... Um, thank you. Uh, I mean, I mean, <laughs> fart and you miss me. But, um, but I, I was in it. That was important. And, uh, and I had a scene with Meryl, and there were lots of other people in it. And, you know, I've admired Meryl forever, and she's just a class act, as, as you know. And, uh, but she had all these prosthetics on uh, or for, for the role. She's playing as Margaret Thatcher. Thatcher. Yeah. And uh, so she was incredibly hot. She was under these lights all day. And so we had these kind of, like, quiet conversations. People were like, Meryl's really sociable, but she's going to try and, like keep kind of cool and calm because she'll melt under these uh, prosthetics in between in between them um, takes so we were all like five of us in this scene just desperate to just to have our moment with Meryl you know but we were told like you know she'll melt if you talk to her so don't melt Meryl <laughs> and uh, so we were just hanging around and then one day she just decided you know damn it I'm gonna talk to these guys so we, she, the lights went off and she just turned around and went 
in her sort of Margaret Thatcher accent, how is everybody? And we all went, oh my God, this is the moment. <laughs> this is the moment. And there were seven of us. It was like gladiatorial. It was like, who's going to get in? And so we all sort of subtly kind of like went around, uh, sort of moved around her. And then she, uh, and she was her having conversation. And everyone was really trying to like get the joke in. Mm -hmm. and, um, and I made a joke. And it made Meryl laugh. And I was like, <laughs> yes! I'm the winner. I'm the winner. For them. <laughs> But then on, all the other people in the cast were like, oh, yeah, Phoebe. <laughs> and, and I was like, she's mine now. It goes deep between us. I made her laugh. We had eye contact. We're the deal. And then that lunchtime, <laughs> when you just get too overexcited, because the rest of the day, I was just like, oh, my God, when are we going to hang out again? Me and Meryl, that was really good. And uh, at lunchtime, we were all sitting down having lunch. And Meryl, like, it was obviously a cooler day, because she decided to come and, like, hang out with us for lunch. Yeah. And I saw her coming down the stairs, as did everyone else. And, uh, and I was like, oh my god, she's going to come to me because we're friends now. And uh, she's going to come to me because I'm the funny one. Oh my god. And she came down the stairs. She came down and she's going, oh, hello, everyone. You know, still in her Margaret Thatcher accent. And uh, she came up behind me and she put her hands on my shoulders. <gasps> and I was there, and everyone else was going, eating their pudding. And she went, oh, you know, what are you eating? And I said, for some reason, I grabbed my dessert and I pulled it into my chest and went, my apple crumble! <laughs> Like that, to Meryl. At which point, I, obviously, I broke the charm that we had between each other. That friendship was dead. She sure. looked genuinely terrified and went, sure. very reassuringly, I'm not trying to take it away from you. <laughs> and then I was like that, all over my costume, about to film the next scene. I was just like, oh, why did I do that? And then we had one more scene together, and it was just me and her behind a door, and we didn't really say much to each other after that. I mean, she was oh. just like, but oh. she's, yeah, and that's, that's my meeting with Meryl. That's a good one. That's a good one. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's a delight to meet you. Oh, you Thank too. you so much for being here. Thank you. Well, the play is Fleabag. It's at the Soho Playhouse through April 14th. Phoebe Waller-Bridge, everybody. We'll be right back with comedian Wayne.